All right, 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 all right. So today is December 1st of 2020 in the virtual thing. Uh, in real life, actually, I, I have no clue what the hell the date is. Who cares anymore, right? It's 2021. According to weird humans, they're acting like every world issue is going to disappear when the clock struck 12 a.m. on January 1st. And it's like January 10th and the president has got impeached from Twitter already this year. But hey, uh, speaking of Twitter, that's where I found this video. You see this picture that I'm about to put up right about now. You, you see it? It's on, it's on the screen. It's literally trending on Twitter. Now, granted, it's actually trending under the the words ray allen i guess a lot of people liked ray allen and picked him on this but hey whatever it's trending shout out to hoops hype uh so yeah so this thing right here build your 15 dollar team of the century now, i know this is a popular thing to do on youtube but i'm actually doing it different than you've probably ever seen anybody do this at least i think i don't know i don't think i've actually ever watched one of these but i, I thought if i wanted to watch one of these well uh look i've made not one team but i actually made two three four what i just counted i could have just said five i made five different teams i made five Five different teams with all the different combinations so first i made my team the first team um which i'm not even sure if it's the best but i kind of you know it says build your 15 dollars team of the century and when i was making my team i wanted to make the team that really felt like the century if that makes literally any sense at all i think it's the best though still and then past that i actually just ended up going in order and like i went curry then i went chris paul and then i went nash because i made curry curry was on my team so then I, I picked chris paul built a team around him then nash westbrook came. i just you know what i mean and also that's the other thing as you'll see i went in the order order of positions to keep things kind of orderly if not to that wasn't a pun really so i didn't have any team with lebron at point guard or kd and lebron on the same team i went in the order of these uh rows here so like you know or columns or whatever the hell i don't know whatever you get it i only picked one player from each column there you go that that's that's the best way to put it so as you can see the thing's still on the bottom right in case you want to reference but team number one was the new york knicks because they're my I, I picked the knicks come you know you know me my first pick was mr james comma lebron and well uh you know i mean five dollars yeah you got that this the only team I built around. I mean, I still picked Curry, like I told you. This is the all-time Cavs LeBron. My second pick was Mr. Five Dollar Stefan, who, according to this, is actually the fourth overall player on this team, and well, an overall. But hey, he's Stefan Curry, and he's good in 2K, I would assume. So I wanted him too. So that's ten dollars already. After that, I opted for Allen Iverson. Now this is where it starts to get weird because I, when I look at this man, you just think, okay, he kind of revolutionized every single way everything happens in the end. like. You know, what I mean, players started wearing like headbands because of this man. I don't think that's true, but he he started something. I, I don't know. Maybe he did actually. I have no clue. No, I've definitely seen a Dr. J my team car with a, with a headband, unless I'm absolutely bugging. Then power forward with the $2 selection. So AI was $1, by the way. That's why I went him with him. I already spent $5 on Curry and Braun. I felt like if I want my century team, I want Curry and Braun on it. I just, I don't know. I wanted it. And then Iverson, I feel like he'll figure it out regardless because he's Allen Iverson. He's a 97 overall. But then next up, I got Anthony Davis with the $2. Pretty self explanatory you, you know what I mean? You could get Anthony Davis for $2. He's, he's a 98 overall. This is the uh, Pelicans all time one. I just switched into a power forward. He goes up by like two or three or something i don't know he's good okay it's anthony davis for christ's sake he may not be better than five dollar tim duncan like two or about like twitter like was arguing like a month ago but uh yeah he's still anthony davis so that brings my total up to 13 dollars. and the last player i picked with the two dollars left was mr yao ming big body self seven foot six so really just to, if it was up to me i would have honestly as you could see like if you go down the list you got jason kidd and westbrook at the end of the point guards there i honestly would have went with like you know i mean a little bit of a stronger big men tandem thing with lebron but but I don't trust. I wanted a really good shooter at PG next to bronze. So uh, yeah, it was either really Nash, Paul, or, or Curry. And well, Paul's got the defense. Nash doesn't. Curry's got kind of just like a little bit of everything. And whatever, you get it. I think this team can win in 2K, basically, is my synopsis here. So my second team that I built, like I said, was around Chris Paul. Or kind of, at least, that was the first player I picked. And well, like, he's $4, as you could see. I mean, it's, it's Chris Paul. There's really, honestly, this is my like ideal. I mean, he plays defense. He's a little shorter, but whatever. He's Chris Paul, for Christ's sake. And he's really good in 2K. Okay. Then I picked Kobe Bryant. Give me the $5 Kobe. Bring it up to $9 total. I'm not going to take as long time explaining every other team as I did my first team, but yeah, you, you get it. Kobe Bryant. Next up at small forward, because he's still at small forward, I went Giannis. You move him from a power forward to small forward in 2K, he goes up to a 98. So I'm like, hey, cool, great. And there's one other move on this team that also makes this team one of the scarier teams, unless it doesn't really change anything at all. I don't know if the overalls even really do anything, honestly. But Pau Gasol, who's a $1 player, you make him go from a center to a power forward. This is the all time grizzly is one and well uh yeah he's a 96 to be honest with you i don't know if it makes him any different than his 93 overall self but either way he's pal gasol he's good at basketball and hell uh shout out to the, the uh, 2010s re-simulation from 2k20 that i did dog if you know you know and last but not least is actually his brother mark he's a three dollar player and uh he fills in nicely here you know what i mean i think that's solid chemistry to have the people that literally share 110 percent of their blood together because 110 percent definitely makes sense i don't know what the hell i'm saying anymore so yeah chris paul kobe Giannis, pal gasol marcus doesn't really it's, it's a pretty solid team and plus Giannis is a guy you could just let him play
play like fake center and then let Mark and Powell just kind of stretch the floor too. Mark's got an 85 three ball and Powell has a uh, 74. That's good enough. Next up was this Steve Nash led team with $3. So obviously he's first. Then after Nash, I went and got Mr. Dwayne Wade for $4. Add some, you got to definitely add some defense, some slashing next to Steve Nash. You can't really go wrong there because Nash is probably the weakest defensive point guard on the starting five. I don't know. It's him or Curry. Next up, another $4 purchase of Mr. Durant. That brings a total up to what? $11. Obviously, if you have any doubts in the scoring of Nash and Wade, then you bring in the guy who everyone says is the most versatile scorer of all time or something like that. Then the best overall player on the team is Kevin Garnett, who's a $3 player. He's a 98 overall. And this is the team, though, that gets screwed over with the $1 player named Al Horford. I have no clue why all living hell they have Al Horford on here or in what scenario he comes up as equal to the likes of Pau Gasol, Paul Pierce, Iverson, and Jason Kidd. Not to say he's bad, just what the hell. So yeah, that's that. There's your starting lineup. Uh, Al Horford right here with KD, D-Wade, Nash, and KG. It's still not a, it's far from a bad team. And also, if I had to pick really one, really anybody from the, uh, the power forwards to try and save Al Horford's career from being killed by any of the other centers, it would probably be KG. K KG's great. He's scary. He's, he's ferocious. Next up, we got the Grizzlies led by Mr. Westbrook. I don't know why I picked the Grizzlies. I just felt like it. He's a $2 purchase. And then after Westbrook, I thought it'd be smart to get a shooter by the name of Ray Allen. He's also $2. It brings it up to four. Obviously, you got that right. After that, Mr. Uh, Laugh Guy, I don't know, Robot. What the hell do you guys call him? Whereas Silver Acrobat, uh, Kawhi Leonard, 97 overall. He's $3. And that leaves, because that's only $7, that leaves, uh, you know, $8 left. So I got Dirk Nowitzki for the $4 at Power Forward, 98 overall. One of the best offensive players you could imagine in this game. Maybe, I don't know how he actually plays in my league. I can't remember, but I just know in terms of like, you know, I mean, he, he has to be. If he's a 98, he wasn't good at defense. What the hell do you expect? And last but not least, Dwight Howard. Actually, well, he is, he is the least. He's a 93 overall, according to 2K, which is kind of stupid to be honest with you but yeah he's Dwight Howard him and him actually putting him next to uh, uh what's it called Dirk is one of the best yeah you can't really put much better next to that so I thought that was a good pairing yeah starting lineup Westbrook Ray Allen Kawhi Dirk and Dwight I thought that was pretty good and last but not least if you want to piece them together based off the players that I didn't pick you could already see what the hell the team was or I could just scroll over there real quick it actually ends up being a really good team starting off with Jason Kidd 97 overall I mean obviously it ends up being really good what the hell do you expect look at the players on this thing you got Jason Kidd at the point guard to facilitate everything James Harden at the two kind of combats Kidd's lack of scoring he's probably the worst scorer in the start i don't know it's either him or nash i guess either way he moved to the three you got paul pierce the truth which for some reason everybody was bugging out on him because he said he plays like luka Doncic, and although he didn't pass like luka Doncic, he's exactly right They're both slow and score really well like it's a pretty easy comparison i think people just like to hate paul pierce for no like he was he was he was a hall of fame you know what i mean he's pretty good but yeah he's his 94 overall self with 92 three ball 92 minutes you know what the hell paul pierce is or maybe you don't i don't know according to twitter they don't 91 perimeter d Defense. And now this is where it gets interesting. Obviously, in case you notice, the two $5 players that I didn't pick yet are Tim Duncan and Shaq together. The two best big men of the 2000s, right? Yeah, I mean, yeah, everyone says that Shaq, well, Shaq was the only player in the 2000s to win an MVP as a center, and Tim Duncan has won two of them and won five championships, and everyone says he's the best power forward of all time. Shaq is somewhere in the top five, but either way, none of the other top five have played in the 2000s, so there you go. So yeah, it doesn't really get much better than really any of these teams. I don't, I don't know what the hell's about to happen. And also, too like a like i've done before like when i made it a 12 team league not too long ago this is indeed a 12 team league and for most of the teams that like aren't in here like i just kind of removed well actually most of them are just bad but i think towns is the only 90 overall player they're not going to interfere and i a removed foul outs because obviously all these players are playing 48 minutes for all these teams you know what i mean uh, fatigue is always off in my simulations fatigue is stupid in 2k and b um let's see uh yeah there's no conferences i removed conferences so there they, well i i just told I, there's no conferences so i Obviously, whoever, they're just going to fall into place. Obviously, they're going to be the top five teams. They're just going to fall into place, you know? So there the hell you go. It should be a cool little video, whatever, where we do things and uh, exist. And let me know in the comments, uh, well, A, if you hate me for my team selections, uh, although you probably will agree with at least one of them, like like you, you can't really get mad at Shaq and Tim Duncan together, right? And uh, two, if you want to actually, if you want to follow my guidelines of what the hell I just did with staying with the positions, because most people will just say like, oh, put LeBron at point guard and with KD, Kawhi, and whoever the hell else. If you actually follow my guidelines of staying with the positions, as I'll probably remove this thing off the screen now by the way what the hell type of team would you make with this let me know in real life i honestly might have went with some like kid and kobe instead of curry and iverson but i felt like iverson's a cool 2000s player and more recognized as a cool 2000s player than most people even if people hate him nowadays because yeah he, he averaged like 40 percent from the field for his career which is justified i guess team kevin and team kobe garnett uh let's see i'm assuming all of our players that we put i mean obviously all of our players have to be in the starters not really any other good players in the league you can see the all-star teams right here i'm not about to read them off i already did enough reading we're about to get to the playoffs and see what
see what the hell happens in the simulation. Russell Westbrook is the most valuable player. 24, 12, and 17 a game. This man bugged the hell out to lead his team. I mean, in fairness, I did build the team around him just like every other point guard. Anthony Edwards, rookie of the year. I probably got rid of all the other rookies, honestly. Kawhi, DPOY, hello. So the Grizzlies racking up the awards. Hey, Ricky Rubio. Oh boy, Darius Baisley, Taylor Jenkins, Mark Woolridge. Oh wait, so Taylor Jenkins is a Grizzlies coach, right? So they won 69 and 13. I didn't turn off simulation difficulty or anything for the simulation because there's too many teams. All NBA first team is Westbrook, Curry, Garnett, Giannis, and Shaq. Five different teams. Interesting. So no team was dominant enough to have. So it's all five of them. Second team, the same goes here as well. Kobe, Jason Kidd, LeBron James, Kevin Durant, Dwight Howard, Shaq average. I'm, I'm going to just look through the individual teams in a minute. I'm not going to. Yeah. Third team was a uh, same. No, not the same thing. Actually, there's two Pistons players. So that means a Grizzlies player was left off. Okay. So Kawhi was an all defensive thing, but he, he or defensive player of the year, but he didn't make an all NBA team. It's Harden, Wade, AD, Duncan, and Marcus all defensive first team, defensive second team. There the hell you go. And hey, Alexei Pukasevsky, right? I, I, he was playing against the Knicks like two days ago. I, I, I heard them say his name correctly. I still know how to pronounce it. Oh man, look at this beautiful playoff thing. So obviously it was bound to happen. And wow, my team is the fourth seed playing up against the Celtics in the first round. Basically everybody else is a bye week. We'll see if any of them can lose any games, but look at this beautiful playoff bracket. So first up, sure, why not? I'll go out of order. The Pistons, Harden and Shaq both average 30 a game. Shaq 17 rebounds, Harden 12 assists. Paul Pierce 25, Duncan only 21 with 16 rebounds and Kidd 20 and 16 a game. The Celtics expectedly so. KD 33 points a game to lead them. Almost a triple double put up for him. Close enough. Same with Garnett with 20 rebounds a game. Oh right, because he has Horford next to him who is still average a cool 9.4 whatever. But yeah, you see the team here. 17 and 15 from Nash. Numbers that are actually better than his MVP year. But then again, he's playing 48 minutes a game. Grizzlies, Dirk was actually leading points. As a matter of fact, Westbrook was last in points for this team, but he was racking up uh, assists with 17 with 12 rebounds, 24 points. A triple double man himself. Dwight Howard, 25. Yeah, you see it. You see it. My Knicks for the Knicks. Uh, yeah, I kind of realized like halfway through I picking LeBron. I just felt like, you know, I mean, you can't pick a century team without the guy who's ruled the entire 17, 17 years of the century or something like that. 18. I don't know what the hell season he's in now. 19. Is that what he's in? I, I don't even know anymore, but it probably is smart to just pick someone like Giannis and then get Kobe. And I don't know what the hell. Either way, uh, he's still LeBron. Iverson is Iverson. Hell, when it comes to the playoffs, I'll still trust this team. Maybe not Iverson's defense, but we shall see. 80. Why do you shoot 44%? My guy. And Yao Ming held his own with 18 and 19 a game. He's a two way inside the arc score. What the hell is that? And I believe this is, yeah, last but not least, the Lakers. Kobe put up 30 and 11 a game. Giannis, 29, 15, and 9. Pau Gasol, 23 and 14. Chris Paul, 23 and 15. And Marcus Gasol, 22 and 15 himself. They had one of the more efficient teams. They didn't really have anybody shooting far under 40%. So yeah, there goes that. Or 50%, I should say. League leaders in points was Durant, Harden, Shaq, Dirk, Kobe. Uh, rebounds was Garnett, Yao, Shaq, Dwight Howard, and Tim Duncan. Assists was Westbrook, Kidd, Paul, Nash, and LeBron. Sounds about right. And Curry was right after Brown. I was like, wait, oh, that's the only point guard that's not here. Hello, Marquise, Chris. And Dirk was number one in three-point percentage, so there's that. So obviously, the only real matchup here in the first round, I guess, semi-fake, it's still semi-finals, I guess, is this one. Oh, boy, Yao versus six. I think he's 6'8 or something, 6'9. Al Horford. That should be fun, although I still have a feeling they're somehow going to win this series. I mean, just, I don't know. I guess we shall see. I guess every series in this is like a final series, right? You don't really get better series than these. So the Celtics win game one, 123-120. Uh, you could just look through real quick. I'm not going to read. I've done a lot of reading, like I said earlier. So yeah, there the hell you go. Al Horford had 13 points and eight rebounds. Oh boy. What did Yao have? Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. 18. There you go. So, so wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. I just clicked simulate next game and I'm in a whole different series. Oh God, I forgot that happens. His nickname is Sugar Ray Allen. That's cool. Whatever. He did his thing. But uh, yeah, back to the, the the series I was trying to watch. The Knicks blow the hell out of the Celtics in game two. Uh, let's see. AD 30. Look, they're, they're going to play good. We, we just got to see what teams win. We got to get into the gameplay, of course. And the Celtics take a game. Wow. KD dropped 57. There the hell goes the box scores. Knicks take another game. So now it's two to two. Curry dropped 43. Okay, cool. So none of the other teams have lost the game. Thankfully, I, I would have been really, really sad for him. And the Knicks win another game. 22 point win. Curry and AD both drop 30 each. LeBron triple doubles. It says it on social media tab thing. And uh, Al Horford 11. And I was getting ready to say last but not least, but no, KD drops 46 to force a game seven. So just like that, we have not. Yeah, no, we're out, out to the races already. Off to the races, out to the off to the races. Definitely. But oh, I forgot to jump in, but I didn't really want to jump in anyways to be honest with you it's only the first round whatever new york knicks led by curry's 43 and 11 ad's 27 and 10 lebron's 21 12 and 11 and uh iverson and yeah iverson shot four for 13 yao shot four for 12 that's incredible they still won too al horford had a cool 18 and 10 as uh steve nash only had 10 points 12 assists whatever but yeah knicks are gonna win my team that i built ends up beating out the kd garnett i was actually kind of well right because they had al horford
Horford, so I wasn't really too scared of this team. That's why they were the fifth seed. I didn't even check records, to be honest with you. Wow, yeah, the, the Celtics had 53 wins, and everybody else had 65 plus. This is the uh, the second, or no, this is the third team I built. Yeah, just it's just that I think it's genuinely just Al Horford. How could you really go wrong with this team? You know what I mean? I thought this was one of the best, like, fours here. You know what I mean? The, this this four combination. But yeah, if you could have gave me, like, I don't know. I think Boogie's too good for $1. Maybe he's not. I don't know. Paul Pierce is on there. Uh, Iverson was on there. So maybe Boogie. Or hell, at this point, even Embiid, Cat. I don't know. But now, the conference finals. Lakers and Grizzlies. You got CP3 versus Westbrook. The two Rockets rejects. Obi versus Ray. They had some finals battles for sure. Giannis versus Kawhi. That's a pretty common comparison. Pau Gaul. Pau Gaul. Pau Gaul. Pau Gasol versus Dirk. Marcus Gasol versus Dwight. Yeah, this sounds about even and stuff, especially by the overalls, too. It's pretty, except for Kobe being three over uh, Ray Allen. And on the other side, you get Curry versus Kidd, Iverson versus Harden, LeBron versus Pierce. Oh, boy, that'll never, uh, you know, I mean, mince I, I wouldn't mince words in that matchup because, yeah, that one's always catching a lot of headlines, regardless if it's off the court, Pierce talking about Bron or on the court. Yao versus Shaq is wild, and AD versus Tim Duncan. Wow, I'm actually more excited for the big men matchups than anything in that one. First game, Knicks win 41 from Curry. Uh, the Grizzlies won the other series, or what, not series, whatever. They won the first game. Westbrook 38 and 14 to Giannis is 42 and 7. Next up, Grizzlies won another game from like a very similar score yet again with Westbrook 48 and 17, Kobe 42 this time around. And the Knicks lose this one by 13 despite, well actually no, Kids 37, Harden's 37 leads this team, but Curry's 36, LeBron 35, not enough. Iverson shot 6 for 16, AD 5 for 17. I just realized that regardless of the no conferences, the, the East still ended up playing the East and the West still ended up playing the West, except they're on the opposite sides as they normally would be. The Lakers was the second team I built, so if they lose and that's kind of a bad look, I guess. But then again, I, I would expect them and the Knicks to somehow just lose. Screw it. I like gameplay from insanely good basketball teams. 148-147. Chris Paul's LA team as he gets the ball is down by one point. Oh my God. He threw it away immediately to Ray Allen. What the hell was that? Chris, you can't dribble my guy. You could have not like handed it off to Kobe or something. Westbrook, here we go. You've been dominating Chris Paul according to whatever the hell this entire series. I kind of expected you to dominate, but maybe not win MVP. Oh, look at Dirk. Dirk steps through to make a three-point lead. They said he has 50 for the game. Dirk, do you have 50? Oh my God. God, he's missed five shots. He's doing this on a pow and mark, I guess. Yep, that man's pretty good at basketball. 44 seconds left. Lakers ball. Player of the game, young New Balance Dirk. Kobe with the ball. He's got 42 seconds left. Gets a screen from Giannis. He's going to pass it over to Gasol. Back over to Kobe. They take another timeout. Okay, I, I won't doubt it. Whatever. Uh, whoever, who's on the sidelines for this team? Again? Oh, you're right. Frank Vogel. Uh, I kind of doubt it. They don't got Braun to be coach anymore. Remember how corny Frank Vogel was acting after they went to the finals or won the or something? I don't know. And whatever. He probably, I mean, he was on the paces for all those years. So they kept losing to Bron. Kobe, here we go. Ray Allen guarding him. Kobe trying to go around him all the way to the basket. Bryant Dunk, the $5 guy for this team as the Grizzlies actually don't even have a... Oh, wait. Do they? No? No? Wait. I can't remember. You know, they don't. They don't. Uh, up to... Dw wow, that was literally wide open. Now, if you want to replay, you could have it, but he literally just didn't guard Dwight. Like, Marcus Hall's slow self said, eh, yeah, no. Matter of fact, that's the Lakers center from last year and the new Lakers center this year, Gasol and Dwight. So they just easily take a, a three-point lead. Lakers, uh, you kind of need this, by the way. I probably won't jump into the next game if you guys lo are losing losing because uh yeah if you lose this one you're down 3-0 so uh kobe what you got i thought this team might have been better than my actual team but maybe my team configuration was uh oh yep there goes kobe missing the game winner yep it's probably over Dirk free throw is good lakers have no timeouts left so i'm not even gonna like sim cast or nothing because they're just gonna go up and shoot a shot real quick kobe here the hell we go my guy 17 seconds left he goes between the legs going left step back three point shot he's gonna shoot it over ray allen that is off rebound by Dirk. no gasol back out kobe kobe's gonna shoot another one i would assume that one is good no it was off and yeah that's it i'm gonna just click sim to end off just a couple seconds left grizzlies take a 156 to 149 win dirk Nowitzki 52 like it's either the what was it the 2000 yeah, the 2011 playoffs of course when he won the championship i had a couple more valiant efforts in his career i know that one year they lost to the eight seed though the, the golden state we believe warriors the knicks are gonna go ahead and take a 2-1 close game 2-1 series lead curry 41 he's been dominating he's the guy who was on the all nba first team he's, he's got 34 and 11 a game in these playoffs bronze actually just kind of been chilling and passing the ball to be honest with you. But I guess he has the luxury to do so. Uh, yeah, team's playing cool. Obviously, I'm looking at this team more so because, well, they were the team that I drafted, you know. I expect a little more out of AD, but, uh, you know, I mean, just more than shooting 44% for the season. Oh, shot 28% from three. If you don't go inside, I guess Yao is there, though. He might think Yao is playing defense on him because of how tall he is. Okay, LA is relentless. They take a 23 point win. Uh, they said Pow was doing it all. Oh, he had a triple double. Good for him. But Giannis had 40, Kobe 31 and 18. I think that ties his career high assist. This is about to tie it up. Yeah, they just tied it up 2 2. Six point win by them. Yao Ming 11 and 17 while uh, James Harden 40 and 7. Don't know why I pointed out Yao Ming. Who had 20 assists at Nash? No, it's Kid 2020. Whole world getting PTSD right now from the fact that I just said 2020. Uh, but yeah, Kawhi Leonard 43, Dirk 38, Ray Allen 22. Yo, can I mess around and control 
one of these players real quick. Hey, Ole, because you lost anyways. You're down 106, 34. Uh, oh, yeah, pass it on to Gasol. Hold on. One more. Oh, back up, Paul. Hit him with the size up. Hit him with the size up. Oh, get around. Get around him. Ah, uh, whatever. You guys are being annoying. Uh, yeah, just pass it to Gasol. The Lakers are going to fall, according to me, because I scored a 108, 134. As the Memphis Grizzlies will advance 4 1 win. Russell Westbrook has turned all the way the hell up. Another team that, yeah, well, actually, is this still the only team that has no $5 players? Yeah, I think it is, right? Because if, if, if one team has two of them. Oh, wait, no, there's two teams that have two of them. I picked two of them on my first team. Kawhi Leonard, man himself, holds up the trophy as they head to the finals. Although this isn't the championship trophy, obviously, though. Larry O'Brien, right? Look at him. He's laughing right now. <laughs> 43 from Mr. Leonard, 38 from uh, Dirk. 3 for 13 shooting from Westbrook, but he still had 12, 10, and 20. And I guess that helps them prevail in this type of thing because, well, they won. CB3, 12, 15 on 5 for 13. At least he played good defense. Still, uh, goodbye, Lakers. Deuces. One finals set. And uh, wait, what, what do I just say? One finals team set. And the other series is 2 to 2, but it's about to be 3 to 1, obviously, in favor of the Knicks, though. James Harden, 40 points, 11 for 11 free throw shooting. Thanks. But it obviously didn't matter. As Kid shot 2 for 16. Jesus Christ. And Curry dropped 29 and 13 on the set on 9 for 14 shooting. Wow. That is a very not clutch. RJ Barrett, hello. 0 minutes, 0 for 0 shooting. And Yao has been holding his own against Shaq. Shaq averaged 30 on the season. I feel like he's not doing that in this playoff little thing here. He's not put up 30 once in this entire series. After putting up 34 times in the last series? So, yeah. Actually, no. Whatever. Three times. I don't know. Right. They 4-0 swept, of course. In fairness, he was playing against the other trash teams for the entire season, except for a couple games against the... Whatever. You get it. They probably play each other a lot of times when you only have 12 teams in the league, since it's still 82-game season. Is this what the 1960s felt like? I guess it was, because, yeah, they played 82 back then, too. Well, they used to have eight teams when Bill Russell was winning all those rings, I believe. Well, as I continue to ramble about the Bill Russell era, uh, the New York Knicks are looking like they're going to take a kind of convincing win. I don't know, Shaq. You want to shoot a three? No, it's the corner. Paul Pierce, how you doing? Three-point shot. That's off. Rebound by AD. They're not going to foul to assume, and that is it. 127-118 win for the New York Knicks as they prevail and move on to the NBA Finals against the Memphis Grizzlies. Yao Ming and uh, who is that? Uh, let's see. Oh, Timmy. How you doing, Timmy? They probably had some cool games. Iverson and James Harden. Uh, Ayo, what, what the hell? We're just going to move on from that. Allen Iverson hoist up the trophy to move on to the finals. Yeah, yeah. Great look at Yao, big body self, uh, soaring in the back. LeBron had 38, 13, and 16. I guess I really don't regret picking him now because, well, we're in the finals and Giannis' team didn't make it. They were 4 1. The hell up out of here. Curry, 14 and 15 on 4 for 12 shooting. Paul Pierce, 4 for 15. That's kind of tough. And Shaq uh, still didn't put up 30, but he was close enough. I, I guess he wasn't close enough, though, because they lost. Deuce is Detroit. And now, we find ourselves at the ultimate stage. The third team, or no, the fourth team, actually, that I, be, I created. It's kind of just a really solid all around team. Instead of, you know, I mean, the one team had uh, Tim Duncan and Shaq, but this team, they get Kawhi instead of Paul Pierce with Dirk and Dwight Howard instead, as well as $2 Ray Allen, $2 Westbrook. And then there's my team. What the hell shall happen? I don't know what team you were rooting for, who the hell you thought were the best. Uh, maybe you prevailed, maybe you didn't. But we lost game one. I, I didn't, I, I usually jump into every finals game just for the hell of it, just to show the, the, the court or whatever. But yeah, we lost. 99 to 106 L. 35 and 16 from Dwight on Yao Ming's head as Yao had 19 and 14. Speaking of that, where's fouls at? I want to see. Did any players get six fouls? Yeah, so you can't foul out. Like I said, I turned it off, but Ray Allen had six. Out of all people, Ray Allen. I guess Iverson had him reaching, although Iverson had nine turnovers, so I guess he definitely did have him reaching. Game two, I'm not just jumping into this one because of the aesthetic. Uh, this is actually, you know what I mean? I, I kind of, you see, it's 108, 109 for God's sake. Westbrook, here we go. Westbrook steps back, mid-range over Curry. It was a stupid shot, but I mean, he's the MVP, I guess, so I don't know. He must be doing something right, although I think he still shot like 45%. Uh, let's see, J LeBron James, how you doing? He gets double team back out to Yao. Yao could probably he gets some three sometimes. Remember one time he passed it off. Uh, uh, wait, hold on. Iverson three is off. Remember one time Yao threw it off the rim perfectly back to himself for a game winner, but the guy missed it. I forget who shot it, but someone missed it and shot whatever. Uh, let's see. Westbrook going to the basket. He throws it down to Dwight. Dwight easy layup over Curry. 108, 111. Knicks down by three. This would be a 2-0 deficit right here if they can't convert something. Russell Westbrook still the player of the game as they still lead. 25 on 11 for 24 shooting is pretty solid. Mr. Iverson is gonna no. They pass it down to Curry. Back out to Iverson for three again. That one is good. Beautiful shot by Iverson off the Curry dime. 111-111. Tie game. 50 seconds left. I obviously kind of forfeited defense when I picked Iverson and Curry together. I think they still gave Iverson good defense in 2K at least, but he is six foot. But then again, if there's anybody I want him to really guard in this series or in this whole entire thing, hold on. Westbrook mid-range shot was awful. It's probably Ray Allen for Iverson because he's not like, you know, I mean, I don't expect him to. Oh, hold on. Curry wide open. Three is off. AD. AD the put back over Dirk. What the hell? Please give this man named Click Productions a replay real quick because what the hell did I just see? AD comes soaring in for the contact putback. It looks like a normal contact dunk, but obviously he catches the ball midair. Matter of fact, he went 
through Dwight to catch it. Uh, but sure, we'll take it. Uh, you know, animations. It, it's 2K. The, the entire game is animation. And he throws it down over Dirk, who I mentioned his lack of defense earlier and will rebounding at that. Maybe even more. But yeah, Dwight, considering that, yeah, that didn't work. This is a pretty cool screenshot in itself. H how you doing? Gri you, you, I like the Grizz signs. Let's, let's, let's take a look at the crowd. I feel like this guy doesn't even want to be here. I feel like this guy's a baseball fan. Like, you see the shirt he's wearing? What is that? What color is that? Mahogany? I don't even know what mahogany is. It's like a dull maroon. I feel like maroon is already dull. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore, but I feel like he's a baseball fan and those are his two kids right there. He just, they just wanted to come to the game. So he, he chalked it up. You know what I mean? Like this kid right here is from Memphis wearing the Knicks shirt. Here's a cool screenshot of Iverson being happy. Oh, hold on. I was looking for you. There goes a mascot. Wow. This guy looks like, um, hold on. This is what this man looks like. You see, you see the resemblance? Look, there, there goes that. That's what this man looks like right there. Is that what this smell? I don't know. Shout out to the Grizzlies mascot. I feel like a virtual Robin Lopez right now. AD, the free throw to take a three point lead, which is crucial because wow. Yeah, they would have been down 2 0 if he ain't just get that. Re or maybe, I don't know. Grizzlies need a shot here to even tie it up or I don't know, cut it to one. Obviously, Matt. Kawhi Leonard passing the ball. Westbrook, if anything, just don't let yourself shoot the shot, please. Get it to Ray. Look, here comes Ray. Get it to Ray, please. Ray's going left. No, Westbrook going right. Westbrook steps back. It's blocked. Whoa, whoa, whoa. They call a shooting foul on Yao. Hold on. Did he not let him land? I have never seen a foul called that late because Yao immediately blocks his shot. I feel like this isn't a foul regardless, right? It's not very often you see this where someone literally blocks the shot as it's practically still in their hands, but I know maybe he didn't let him land. No, he did let him land. The hell? He actually genuinely did not even touch him. Let's key in on Yao real quick. Yao, he, he kind of, I, maybe they consider this like, I don't know, his elbow, but like you already hit the ball. The ball is out. Look at the ball. The ball is to the left of this man or the right, but he's about to shoot three free throws. Russell, what are you about to do with these? Let's see. The first one is good. He's only got 74%. Second one is good as well. Russell, you're going to clutch out all three. We shall see. And the third one is green. Oh man. I'm not going to lie. I still didn't think he was going to hit all three free throws, but wow, that is some BS. This man, Yao already basically, he, he took the ball out of his hands before he could even shoot it basically i don't even got an analogy for that that's just nuts pass into iverson you hit the last shot if you want another one you could take it just take the last one though you, i mean you only got one second shot clock differential and it looks like they will or at least a very late one 12 seconds left 10 seconds left eight seconds left they're gonna let iverson isolate all the way to the basket allen gets blocked away rebound by allen he's gonna put it back up that one is good allen iverson the man who you would expect a lot of people to doubt my selection of because he's six foot and i have him playing the shooting guard potentially hits the game winner unless ray allen just hits a corner shot over him like how we did against the the spurs and that would definitely negate everything i have just said because we would probably want tony allen on him instead uh no grizzlies pun let's see i oh god ray allen getting open wow he did not even pop out to the corner dwight oh my god the announcer say the shot had a chance no it didn't i know he got it off on time dwight takes about 17 seconds to take that shot westbrook 28 14 and 14 dirk 28 13 hold on though no, i don't care about you Let, let's see i Iverson. You could shoot eight for 22, but you hit the two big shots. That one right there over. Who was that over again? I guess it was over Ray. He got that board. Uh, look, look, can I get a one? Yeah, yeah, there it goes. Yep. Over Ray Allen and the other one. Yeah. I mean, we've seen Iverson put back over like seven foot defenders. So, I mean, he, he's pretty good. I mean, hell, he's shorter than almost everybody. Well, that was an incredible game. But now, okay. Uh, momentum is one hell of a thing because uh, screw it. I'm not even going to jump into this point. We're just going to roll with it. New York, 148 to 123 win. 35 from Ray. He tried to carry after what I was saying about him last game where he doesn't really he doesn't really need to dribble much on this team he can just do some catch and shoot dwight howard 15 with 13 turnovers from dwight it's like an nba record it might be a play i'm about to i'm about to look layoff game uh okay kd shouts at him he's had a new record with 57 or whatever turnovers yes that is the most ever dwight how i knew i was like wait is this like like a commonality now with this like you know what i mean that 48 minutes a game no this is just bad you're just you're just bad how did you have 13 turnovers i don't it's and it's not even that it's westbrook or like you saw like i think second in playoff turnovers is Harden. Like, it's James Harden. You know what I mean? He dribbles a lot. You're Dwight Howard. What the hell? Why were you holding the ball? And the best part is all of his other teammates played really good, so you could have just passed it to him, for Christ's sake. I didn't even check our stats, but I don't even care at that point. How you doing there? Welcome back to the NBA Finals. I'm your host. Uh, I, I don't I, That was corny. I'm not going to say I'm your host, Click Reduction. I don't think I ever say my own name or my own YouTube name or whatever. 109-111, or now Curry's going to make it 112 because he's Stephen Curry. What the hell are you expecting to miss a free throw? Actually, I think he's done that multiple times on this channel. 143 left. 
Westbrook goes to the basket. He stops, pulls up. That was wow. There goes Dwight uh, as on on cue. As I was just making fun of him for seven minutes, almost like Westbrook intentionally did this. Knowing, look, look, look. Dwight is behind. He's, he's got the yeah. I was not even in vicinity proximity. Uh, yeah. Dwight says, "I'm gonna just uh, what, what's his name? Dominique Wilkins. I'm gonna Dominique Wilkins. You real quick. His head is at the rim for Christ's sake. This is the dunk contest. 111, 112. Dwight has 24 and 45 percent shooting. That's good enough, I guess. Iverson's been taking over. I would assume, or at least I would be fine with you taking over again. You hit the game winner last time. Iverson around Ray and okay, I'll take the foul. You got absolutely bullied. Ray has seven fouls. Allen Iverson, the first free throw was good. He has 19 points. The second one is also good. Thank you very much. If we missed all of our free throws right now, we would be down by what? Uh, I guess one or two. Westbrook trying to go around Curry. Is it going to work? No, it does not. Curry gets the board. Our defense is working out as fine as I could uh, hope it would. Curry pulls up moving three. That one is off. Rebound by Dwight. Just don't walk out of bounds with it and get your 46 turnover. Westbrook going to try and take Curry again. I feel like he's there. Yeah, yeah, he's going all the way to the basket and misses Dwight board. Dwight again. No, Westbrook put back is good. 113 to 114. Still Knicks lead. Allen Iverson. One minute left. Just about right under that. Iverson going between the legs a lot all the way to the basket. Layup by Iverson is clean. 50 seconds left. Davis is the player of the game. 24 and 8 for 20. Yep, sure, that's cool. And the grid. Oh, please don't take all your timeouts right now. Don't piss me off like this. Don't be stupid. Kawhi Leonard passing the ball. Please don't do this again. Please don't call another timeout. Please just pass it in and take a shot. Uh, Ray Allen, here we go. Yes, over. Whoa, don't take a shot like that, though. Why would he do? There's still 45 seconds left. I, you didn't even need a three. Oh, Iverson. Iverson. Hold on. Oh, my God. Allen. Allen. Mr. Iverson, the first free throw is good. And the second is also. This man is much stupid. I can't even put into. I mean, I can put into words. I just said it. He's, he's been incredible. Westbrook, what the hell are you going to do this time around? 113, 118 over to Dirk. Dirk is going to take the three over AD. It is off Iverson board and they're gonna foul the Knicks after being down 3-1 are looking to take the three the well no wait they, they were down what they down 1-0 maybe I don't know they're gonna take a 3-1 now though that's what I mean to say okay great Memphis 113 oh yeah it's over what, what the hell am I talking about I'm just gonna let it run out right yeah Derek back out Westbrook uh Westbrook to the basket dunk on Allen Iverson that's good for you keep, keep your confidence up but no you lost Simcast the hell out of this wait let me make sure is it already a 3-1 okay no, no no it's not it's not okay just let the, the clock run out I was about to miss the championship celebration if I kept Simcasting it and uh, Iverson and uh yep that's it one 116 120 win for the new york knicks as iverson just casually spins the ball on his finger because obviously he's an nba player he could probably do that box score curry 32 and 10 iverson 26 and 8 this is actually see most of the games he shows up in the clutch and has bad games but this is actually an incredible game for him as lebron shot 5 for 14 only westbrook 35 14 and 12 just had some questionable decisions in the clutch although he actually did have that put back that was just in the highlight reel and uh yeah he dunked on iverson too dirk shot a stupid shot but it's okay i guess dwight you had a cool put back but yeah yeah ray allen 4 for 13 that's kind of tough seven turnovers and i think seven fouls westbrook had nine turnovers himself and now with the 3-1 lead yeah, regardless of you with whatever the hell you want to say about my team they did it i was over here kind of down on my team because at the end of the day all these teams are on an even playing field they all get 15 dollars from a selection of guys who are all within a 15 dollar chart or whatever except for maybe the al horford one he's not like a hall of fame or anything close to that or anything so yeah he's, he's not gonna yeah, yeah, yeah shout out to al horford but as the shot clock goes down let's see if curry takes a shot to be obviously he's gonna take a shot what, what are they gonna let the ball run out they never do that in 2k curry double goes team. right he gets double team odd down to yao yao pulls up mid-range shot that's good and uh yeah 123 108 as long as westbrook doesn't pull another full court shot um that is officially gonna do it rj barrett and steph curry celebrate as he is hype as all living hell for someone who didn't play a minute the entire season there's the uh, stats for the team i didn't even notice they ever put those up rj is currently kneeling on the floor as if he was the one giving his blood sweat and tears while he just had a towel over his shoulder for the entire game and it's like uh whatever the man might as well have had a suit on i honestly don't even know how that happens how did he just get in the celebration like that i mean obviously he's on the team but like where was iverson the man who won us a championship matter of fact is iverson gonna be the finals mvp i hope he is hello alfred payton and uh yeah rj who else here nerland's noel what's good lebron is the finals mvp i'm gonna be honest yeah no you zero percent deserve that why is rj on the floor with the guy why are you why are you on the bottom like you're in the starting lineup i don't get it uh yao ming is too tall to fit within the parameters of the entire screen oh there goes yao ming and his children no matter what 2k likes to screw up height but yeah no yao ming is still gonna be the tallest ray allen 25 Kawhi 24 who choked let's see oh westbrook shot five for 18 dwight shot five for 14 lebron at 36 and 10 okay yeah you definitely showed out in this one but i feel like i mean come on iverson did it again too five steals seven assists 32 points 11 for 25 it's under 40 percent but who cares you hit every game winner in this entire series literally every single i don't think anybody else hit one game winner right it was just all iverson here's a team comparison 123 to 108 and well lebron here the hell you go with your 27 14 and nine a game my five dollar guy three steals per game one block 53 percent from the field and 52 from three at least he was very efficient but yeah we can head over to the uh actually i'll just do the entire playoff stats screw it there you go that is officially going to do it Arden led the playoffs in scoring how you doing kobe durant whatever uh, let me see the finals as well screw it curry 30 points 
points a game, 13 assists. Hell, maybe he should have won finals MVP. I didn't even realize. Well, he was playing incredible the entire playoffs. Iverson, 23, 9, and 2. Yeah, his stat line is just not versatile enough to have won finals MVP, but either way, whatever. Shout out to Iverson. There goes the 10 players that have played in this entire series. You can look at them. There the hell you go. I think this is a pretty cool video. Um, you know what I mean? Didn't take 18 hours to record like most of my videos, so that's relieving. You can like and subscribe to my channel if you care about my channel at all, or if you kind of just stood around here and watched this entire however many minute long video. Let me know what you want to see next. Shout out to Yao Ming. Now I'm gonna get the hell up out of here. Bye.